So we made an RCP for Blackmagic Urza Mini cameras. And um, I just want to go on holiday now, but um, I need to push this campaign out. So I think I'm just going to make a shitty iPhone video for you. And that's probably better than nothing. Maybe I'll make a more fancy studio video later. But okay, here the product is. Uh, let's take a look. So um, the RCP for the Blackmagic Ursa mini camera, or basically any Blackmagic camera, is uh, this guy. It has the Sony standard form factor, so it will fit right into your uh, normal uh, rack of uh, RCPs. It has a great OLED display right here, and every little field you see corresponds to a setting that these buttons are managing. And uh, by pushing these buttons, they have been configured to change the settings. So as I push this one, you see that now the display changes all over. So um, it will display the values for lift and gain. Uh, as I press this one, it has uh, been programmed to keep the lift but change the gamma. And as I move these buttons, uh, you'll see that I'm changing uh, values here. I can push the button and I have a finer uh, value change. Uh, if I push it again, it's uh, more coarse. Uh, camera ID and tally light. So this is currently hooked up with an ATEM switcher, but it can really uh, trigger on an external GPI as well. So you can see that it will change color depending on whether or not the camera is um, uh, on program. Uh, we have tons of small displays all over the place, I feel. In this case, it has been configured to show you the master black, which is lift Y and the iris value over here. Uh, this knob is a limit value for the iris value. And then um, the nice, 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 nice RCP joystick here will allow you to change the... Uh, I'm sorry, you see the display shows the iris value and it goes up and down the other side. Um, uh, pull the joystick. And here you see four nice buttons, which uh, unfortunately we're not ready for today. So uh, you'll have to wait until the PCB arrives. It's uh, with DHL from China currently, so uh, maybe next week. But next week I am on a beach somewhere enjoying my holidays. So you'll have to do without. Um, maybe in August I'll put it out. All right, uh, what else? Uh, memory uh, for settings. So um, these are not functional currently, but the idea is that you uh, push it and you can recall settings or you can press and hold and it will store settings and so forth. And uh, by the way, just get back to the joystick here. Uh, the joystick has uh, the, the wheel. Um, the wheel will allow you to uh, do master black uh, corrections. You can see as I as I turn the wheel, it's um, um, it is changing the master black value. And if I push this button, it will uh, toggle um, in this case an ATEM switcher auxiliary. And uh, you can see it over here on my PC. You can see my laptop has been configured to show you the ASIM software. And now I press the top of the joystick and you can see it's toggling between camera seven and color bars. And all this stuff, this cool, cool stuff is actually configurable. So um, the whole thing comes with a web interface, which looks uh, like this. So um, when you put the device into uh, configuration mode, you will in fact get this interface that will allow you to, let's say we want to change what the, the joystick does. Uh, you press the joystick and it jumps right down to, uh, you see, um, Irish here. And uh, you can change whatever the joystick does. Um, and the same goes for any other setting on your RCP. It could be uh, one of the encoder buttons and then you go right to the setting for this encoder and uh, in this case you can see the encoder does three different things depending on which state the controller is in uh, which is also a very powerful feature of this configuration interface fully configurable rcp any button can be reprogrammed but it is of course programmed with a meaningful set of data when it leaves the factory like uh, for instance lift gamma and so forth in this case also sensor gain shutter speed white balance and so on 
Um, in this field, we suspect to put in detail, but it hasn't been implemented yet. So there are a few things that's not implemented. Let's take a look at the back, um, the back connections. And here you see, first of all, there's a camera selector. The camera selector would be one way you could select which camera it operates. And, um, and again, it's configurable, so you can just assign this, the functionality to this switch. This, the XIO is inspired by the Sony RCPs, which has such a DB9 plug with a, a relay on pin uh, 1, 2, and 3. And I think on pin 8, we have an input, GPI input, so you can also um, send an external trigger into the system and do something with that. Then you have the 3G SDI in and out, which are a Blackmagic Arduino shield inside. And this will allow you to insert the camera commands directly on the SDI feed. Currently, the way it's working is through Ethernet. So it, it will, and this is how it works currently because the shield is not out yet. But currently we use ATEM switches to insert the CCU information. Um, in the future, alternatively, you can insert it directly on the SDI return feed using these two. So that's the Skahoy RCP. And we're going to run an Indiegogo campaign on this in August. So, um, and maybe it's already running if you're watching this video. I really don't know. I just want to go on holiday, guys. Um, please let me and uh, support our campaign. We hope a lot of people will sign up for this and we'll push this awesome product to you. Thanks for watching.